What's up, y'all? I am back again with another video, and today we were going on a different reaction. So let me read the title real quick. Who married Timmy Turner? The Fairy Odd Parents' biggest mystery solved. Yo, I haven't haven't watched this before, so y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the no notifications and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. Okay. I talked about the fairly odd parents on this channel a lot over the summer thanks to a new wish. And because a lot of people were asking the million dollar question, where Timmy? I also got a lot of comments speculating on the whereabouts of Timmy's kids, Tammy and Tommy Turner, alongside the identity of their mom. Something that's been a widely debated topic since 2004, as the kids have features identical to both Trixie and Tootie. But some of these comments shocked me a bit, as people were branching out beyond the two usual suspects and tossed out characters I didn't even know existed. So while I've always believed the question of who is Timmy Turner's wife has a pretty obvious answer, today I want to run through all the candidates and explain why I think they would or wouldn't work out. Man, I know Nickelodeon has been thriving off shipping culture since I was a literal baby, but I didn't think they'd get me talking about fairly odd parent ships in my 20s. I don't even like shipping! Also, please tell me that someone caught that the thumbnail's a reference to the Scott Pilgrim game. Anyone? No? Oh, damn. Also, real quick, I just wanted to mention our new compilation channel, Roundtable Rewind. Presenting a bunch of Roundtable videos old and new, re-edited into themed compilations. We have some on Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, and news from the animation industry that you can check out right now with more on the way. And if you want to help us commission more art for videos, like the utter insanity of this thumbnail by Hats Off Media, then consider supporting us for just a dollar over on patreon.com slash roundtablevids. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's dive in. Trixie was clearly intended to be one of the two original options for Timmy's wife, back when Channel Chasers first dropped. But even as a kid, I always found this to be extremely unlikely. The show shot itself in the foot if it wanted us to view Trixie as someone who could be Timmy's for a lifer, because by the time this special rolled around, she wasn't exactly the most likable character. The audience has no real reason to root for her in the Timmy Bowl, because her moments of likability are outweighed by the show backtracking and turning her into a shallow popular girl, instead of the multifaceted character she was introduced as. This is more of a critique on the writing and how Butch tossed aside authentic heartfelt moments and genuine character development in favor of making whatever premise they came up with that week work, regardless of previous episodes. Reserve the big emotional moments for specials. Although by the end of the series, even the specials didn't really bother with any of that. In her first few appearances, Trixie was someone who felt like she had to conform to the popular girl archetype and conceal a bulk of her interests to maintain the status quo and lifestyle she's built up for herself. With Timmy being someone who could help her come out of her shell and be comfortable with every side of herself, regardless of what the other kids at school think. But sadly, by the time we get to Channel Chasers, she's already regressed into a truly superficial popular kid who thrives off the adoration of the boys in Dimsdale, which can make for a hilarious episode of TV, no doubt about it. But this is a way less endearing version of Trixie that we're stuck with for a majority of her appearances. Sometimes she'll entertain Timmy, but her attention can easily be stolen by another guy. There isn't anything wrong with that. She doesn't owe Timmy anything. But how could you watch her make it as clear as possible that she doesn't care that much for Timmy and think, yeah, she's definitely the one for him. We know Timmy's far from a saint himself. He's just as guilty as making this pairing a likable as Trixie is. Half of Trixie's appearances revolve around Timmy using magic to either manipulate Trixie or the world around them to better his chances with her, rather than, I don't know. Moving on, he read her mind and got confirmation from her own brain that she doesn't like him. Just take the L, man. Granted, I guess he does that eventually since all of Timmy's peers dropped off the face of the earth in the last couple of seasons. I've never liked the idea of Timmy obsessing over someone who not only denies him the time of day. And we're back. The team is looking down the barrel of a 450 but is outwardly nasty to him on multiple occasions, only for him to end up marrying her instead of having, you know, some pride and moving on with his life. 
whatever happened to shame? Now, of course, the rational part of my brain recognizes that they were kids. Kids aren't exactly known for their maturity, and as it currently stands, they're grown adults in universe with fully developed frontal lobes. It's entirely possible that they could have reconnected down the road, acknowledged that they weren't the greatest kids in the world, and the two form a healthy relationship from there. But that's just headcanon. And as a viewer watching this show that's composed of one note characters, I'm only basing my opinions off what's in the show. There ain't no book of build type of supplementary material that sheds Trixie in a sympathetic light and makes us understand why she was so cold to Timmy. Although that sounds like it could be a banger. When are we getting an IRL to rules book, Nick? Anyways, yeah, I don't think he ended up with Trixie. They're not a good match. A comment that surprisingly came up a lot during my coverage of A New Wish was, what if Chloe is Timmy's wife? And my gut reaction was, seriously? Now, by the time Chloe rolled around, I already tapped out of the Fairly Odd Parents. I remember watching her debut episode because... I'm not immune to rating straps, and I wasn't really impressed. I don't think she killed the show like so many people claim, because let's be real, the Fairly Odd Parents was already in its zombie years by this point, but I just found her unremarkable like most of the new additions. So I wanted to check out some of the episodes she's in and get a better feel for her character, try to see what other people see in this pairing. And honestly, I don't get it at all. It really feels like the classic trope of a guy and a girl are the main characters, so they have to end up together. To me, they have way more of a sibling vibe than anything else. Like if Tammy and Tommy ever popped up in A New Wish, it'd be so easy to emulate Chloe and Timmy's dynamic. You could even have Timmy say something like, you guys are just like me and Aunt Chloe, because I do like the idea of Timmy and Chloe staying in touch. Although Chloe wasn't around for long, we saw that she and Timmy cared for each other and became pretty close. But they weren't afraid to butt heads and compete against each other. They contrast each other in so many ways, like how Timmy's very clearly an underachiever, while Chloe is an overachiever. I don't know. I get if you were a kid in 2016 and shipped these two together just because, but I'm really not seeing it. They have a one-of-a-kind bond for sure, but that bond can very easily be a platonic one. Aside from there being zero romantic implication between Chloe and Timmy, I'm surprised that people haven't brought up the actual love interest for Timmy the show introduced in Season 9. Missy! Introduced in Finding Emo. Yeah, I know these titles got egregious. She's someone who actually reciprocates feelings for our boy Timmy. There's just one problem. The entire episode is built around her, and yet I couldn't tell you a single thing about her personality. Timmy is head over heels for the girl, because boys are gonna have crushes for no reason, but all of Missy's dialogue is just her admiring a trait in a guy that Timmy then tries to desperately emulate. At the end of the episode, Timmy's finally able to have a normal exchange with her after fumbling every time he tried to talk to her prior, and they hit it off. But she's never seen again! She was literally just a glorified plot device. I couldn't see Timmy ending up with her because... Well, who is she? <laughs> Veronica. I'm kind of just putting this one in here for shits and giggles because might as well include the other girl who had an unhealthy Look, I'm gonna be on look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Look, I remember all those years back then when I was watching this. I still watch it every day, but not all the time. But but I'm gonna say this to you, but I but like 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 what's her name, Veronica? Like this girl was crazy, but he had a crush. But he had, but he had a crush on Trixie, one of the most popular girls. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate that part. Like it was so much shit going on he had for girls that he had that he had a crush with. Like that's just crazy, man. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, but it's just like I'm gonna say this. I don't know who Timmy Turner that he married like in the future like i don't know like that's crazy obsession with timmy yeah nah he almost seems scared of her and shit i might be too suffice to say i'm not seeing it last but not least the obvious answer the answer that the franchise has nearly beaten into our heads over the years tootie we already know butch hartman loves his tropes and the guy ending up with the nerdy girl he overlooked instead of the popular girl everyone worships is a tale as old as time but aside from that there's just so much more depth to timmy and tootie after cosmo and wanda she's truly the character that cares the most about timmy i'd argue that she understands what he goes through all right, so listen up. State Farm was trying to charge me $197 for car insurance. No, thank you. More than anyone else, because Vicky, his tormentor, is her sister. She makes both their lives a living hell. 
You know, she might be creepy, but she does have to put up with Vicky more than you do. This peaks in Channel Chasers, where Tootie goes above and beyond to expose Vicky's true nature to Timmy's parents. And she succeeds. Vicky finally faced the music and lost her job, saving Timmy from her tyranny. And it was exclusively because of Tootie. Who else is putting in the work so that this boy can live a happy life? And while she Look, I'm gonna say this, but Tootie, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. When, when, when I was watching, watching these TV shows, I ain't gonna lie to you, she really did care about him so much. She really did. And I'm gonna say this, he was kind of like, like, he, like, from, like, from, like, from the beginning, he did like Trixie, the most popular girl, but it didn't matter to him, but it didn't matter to him anymore, but he kind of married I think he kind of married Tootie because she's the most person who cared about Timmy even more. So I got to give that. So I got to give that a good point. That does make a good choice because, like, you can't get mad. You can't get mad at one person that, I ain't gonna lie to you, she was kind of creepy and kind of weird. Like, no, that was crazy. She isn't free of character regression. Having a handful of moments where she was doing the most to try and win over Timmy, only to push him further away, Timmy still has a soft spot for her. After lashing out at her due to embarrassment, Timmy gives up the chance to be Trixie's Valentine in favor of doing right by Tootie and spends the rest of the day with her. He protects Tootie from Francis after the bully threatens her. He gave her a crimson chin toy just to make amends with her after his usual routine of being a dick. And we know Timmy loves the Crimson Chin. They just have a much better track record than Timmy and Trixie, even if seasonal rot means they spend a majority of their screen time as the worst versions of themselves. The live action movies, written by Butch himself, also sees Timmy and Tootie winding up together as adults, reconnecting while Timmy is a literal man child still in elementary school in a desperate ploy to hold on to his fairies. Not only does Timmy finally fall for Tootie, but he's willing to let go of Cosmo and Wanda to be with her, and also to defeat the villain of the movie. And also, he doesn't lose his fairies, which really shouldn't surprise anyone. It's a fairly odd parents project that came out during the 2010s. Consequences were a foreign concept. These two ending up together just tracks way more than any other pairing, in my opinion. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I'd love to hear yours. Who do you think Timmy ended up with in the future? Do you think Tammy and Tommy are even still canon? Let us know in the comments down below, and stay in touch over on Twitter and Insta, at AustricVox and at RoundTableVids. If you enjoyed this video, throw it a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Peace. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Look, I'm gonna say this to y'all. In the future, he married Tootie. He married Tootie. I think he did because, like, like, and I'm gonna say this too. I don't know everything was going on behind behind the scenes of the cartoons between Timmy Turner, like, and I'm gonna say this too. He married Tootie. He married Tootie. I think he did because number one, like, I knew because like I don't know everything about about the cartoon when I was growing up. I couldn't remember, like, but there's so much going on. But because but look like behind Timmy in his future because I knew the most girls that he was never attracted to, but the only girl only girl who cared about him the most was Tootie. That was the only person was there. So he married Tootie. So he married Tootie. Tootie. So so I gotta give that a point. So so anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notifications that make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.